Hello, and welcome to another Pokemon figure review. Well, it's been a while since I made the last one, uh, mainly due to work and stuff. Uh, fun fact, I actually got this for Christmas, and it's now mid-March. So, well done to me, and keeping up with things. Um, today, I shall be looking at the Volcarona vs. Drudigan um, two-figure pack thing, whatever they call it. Um, I'm sure it says somewhere. This is from Series 1, as you can see. Um, bit of art there, of the two Pokemon. And on the back, we've got the other, the other um, two Pokemon sets. It's pretty cool. Um, I think I've shown you this, these types before. If you've seen my other uh, reviews, if not, go back and watch them, or whatever, if you want. So, I shall get to opening this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have opened them. Um, First, let's take a quick look at the uh, ID tag, because that's the wrong way around. Uh, the stats, if you want to know. That's the back, with the odd illustration. And this is Drudigans. Uh, again, I'm not particular... Well, I know how these work technically. You sort of scan them into the Pokedex uh, toy. However, I don't have the Pokedex and I don't have any massive interest. So. Let's get on to the figures. This will be quite a quick review, really. Um, we have Drudigan. No, oh, hang on. He's still got the plastic band around him. No, he doesn't. So, first of all, we have Drudigan, who's pretty damn cool. Uh, his arms move slightly. They're not pausable, of course. Uh, he sort of has a pause that reminds me of the Muppets, if anyone knows what I mean. He's kind of... You know, how you get strings of the hands and the wrists and stuff, and they sometimes end up doing this pause. But, um, so at the back we got, um, obviously the writing from the producers. Oh, we've got some detailing there on his, uh, spiny stuff, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's detail that you wouldn't really expect. Um, that's why I like these figures, because they put a lot of attention to detail. There's his head. Uh, oddly shaped head, not going to lie. And his arms, that kind of remind me a bit of Feraligator. Uh That's the same colour as well, same colour spine and everything. And then he's got his belly stuff, which ends there for some reason, and not goes all the way, doesn't go all the way to the tail, which you'd expect it to do. Not going to lie, Drudigan's not my favourite uh, Pokemon. When I saw him for the first time, I was quite shocked with the colour, really, because... I don't know, it's just odd. His head is red and sort of the spikes, so it's just the head and his spikes that are red and the rest of the body is blue, I'm not sure what happened there or who really designed this, but wherever. Yep, run back there. Right, next up is Volcarona, which is, um, well, possibly my favourite of the set, obviously out of the two, because I don't like Rodigan that much. So, uh, we have her face, which is her or his, obviously, because they come in different gender, face, um, and their little arms, and I did not realise it had a spiny thing near it, whatever the hell this is. Well, that's cool, and then we have the wings, which are detailed with little um, specks and stuff, which is pretty cool. Again, tension detail, not bad. Um, again, this is kind of a soft plasticky thing, you, you probably know what it's made out of if you collect Pokemon figures, I imagine you do, because you probably wouldn't be watching this otherwise. Um, so yeah, pretty good mould. There's a bit of like detailing in hair at the back and stuff. Paint apps are great on both of them really. Um, it's even got their little horns there and a little sort of... Um, I, I don't know how to describe it, but there's sort of a, a ridge, as it were, separating the head between it and stuff. Um, but yeah, actually if you go really close uh, you can see Small details in the eyes as well, I believe. That's pretty damn cool. So, overall, um, for this set, I would give it a 8 out of 10. I'd say that it's definitely worth getting if you like either one of these, because, um, well, personally speaking, Volcarona's made really well, and Drudigan, Drudigan, I think, is made as well as you'd expect him to be. I mean... Again, depends how much you like the Pokemon, really. If you don't really like either of them, then maybe you don't get it. I mean, there are lots of other sets, as we know from behind here. So, 
you know, but overall, I'd say the quality and stuff of them is a solid 8 out of 10. So, thank you very much for watching. I shall be putting some more Pokemon figure uh, reviews up soon. And if you want to subscribe and stuff, because that would be really cool. You don't have to, of course. But yeah, until next time, goodbye.